What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're doing unboxing the BAM box for this month. So again, it is October and it is Halloween, especially today is Halloween, so happy Halloween to everyone. So let's see what we got here. We got paper once again as always. Ooh, Ooh, double paper. Spooky Look, paper. We can make little bats like, like flying off in the distance. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's something fun. Um, so let's see what do we got here. Um, we'll start with our pin first, so again, it's another limited edition enamel pin. And this is a Buffy, so we have Buffy there holding a spike in her hand. And it said, I can't read what it says, just Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And it says something about the artist or whatever. But we got Buffy there. And then next up we have, ooh, a Grim replica of one of the seven keys. Ooh. That's what this is, ooh. This looks kind of cool. So we have, it's almost like a switchblade. So it's kind of a necklace. So you can obviously wear it as a necklace if you want. And then it opens up and there's a key on the inside. So you can use the key to unlock something, whatever. And then if you have the seven keys and roll them in ink, it makes a map. And I thought there was kind of like a picture on this um, sides, but there's not. There's some sort of design. I don't know if you can even see it. But there's like designs on the side of the key, on both sides. Again, it's hard to see. And it's, I don't even know what they are. Like, it doesn't really look like anything. Just a bunch of weird shapes and designs. But they're all different though. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, so we got this little like switchblade key looking thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next up, we have our badge for the month. And it says Friends Division, Department of Defense. And so I do remember seeing some about, there's some from Fringe, which I've never seen the show or know much of anything about it, but we have a patch from it, whatever. So if you're a fan of Fringe, that's kind of cool. Um, I have no clue what this is, but we have a Michigan license plate. And so as you can see, it says 3971 KTL Great Lakes, Michigan. So I have no clue what that's from, so I'll have to look at the book or whatever to see what this is from, because... I don't recall anything of what that would be from, um, so we'll just move on and look back at it. So next up we have our pictures. So our first picture here is done by, it says, um, Christopher Uminga, and it is an Edward Scissorhands, and that looks really cool. I really like the picture. Of course, we have Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands, and then he's got all the scissors on his hands there, as you can see. Which, of course, he uses the cut hair and bushes and all sorts of stuff. I love Edward Scissorhands. It's a fun movie. Uh, but there we got a picture of that. I really like this. It looks very much like a... Obviously, it's done by Tim Burton. But this picture looks very much like a Tim Burton. Like his animated stuff. So that's kind of cool how they were able to keep that together. And this is out of 1,200. So there's only 1,200 photos of that. And then next up, it uh, looks like we have a Gremlins picture. And it looks like we have Spike fighting the kid from Gremlins. So we got that, and then the thing's upside down. But we have our COA. It says 8x10 was hand signed by Zach Galligan, or whatever, who plays Billy Peltz in the Gremlins movie franchise. And so that's his signature right there. It's hard to see even the light, but his signature on that. So we got the character there. And of course, as I said, we got Spike the Gremlin there in the picture fighting him with a chainsaw which is kind of funny and so that is all the items out of the box so let's look at the book here so we have our picture which looks like maybe an abandoned mall or some sort of place with a ride there's a ride in the back then we got a pumpkin with a gremlin head on there and oh yeah I forgot I was like I don't know what the theme is but there is no theme um, so we got our Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, fan art pins from Brian Romero was the artist and so we just got the basic one we didn't get the special ones or anything oh it would have been right cool there. to get the spike one so yeah there's spike and then whatever the demon guy is uh gentleman I guess is who it is the next up we have our uh fringe uh badge whatever patch you can think of what they're called and of course we got the normal one but there is the exclusive one all white there that you could have gotten then there is the Zach Gall Gallahan, Gallagher, whatever, pictures. And so there are three options. And so it looks like two relatively normal ones there. And then a limited edition one of him. 
and I don't know if it says oh no it's just a special metallic one so we get another metallic picture and then we got our grim uh, key says key map or key map of the seven or key map of seven keys from uh, dark matters props so they make a lot of the props for this stuff and they usually are the ones that come in these little like jewelry looking boxes and so there is the picture of that the key on there a better picture of it and then we got our Edward Scissor Hands picture which again we did not get the limited edition ones and it was just um, two drawings of uh, his like Johnny Depp's like character's face up close and that I like the one we got a lot better the Ed one and so that's uh, cool that we got that one okay so this makes <laughs> oh no dang it we didn't get the one I saw it got excited so this license plate is from the Evil Dead it says um, of course license plate re prop replica and what I got excited for is you could have also got an Illinois one and it is from Halloween and it's from uh, the first Halloween movie the license plate um, that Michael or the car that Michael Myers takes from the insane home or whatever hospital and stuff that he drives to um, the Illinois place I forget where it's called I don't know what's called and then we got the Evil Dead one there which I don't know I didn't know that because I've not seen Evil Dead and so that looks like that is about it and then we got our one up which we did not get of course they have the band box horror which would have been kind of good for this month and I know they did have a Halloween signing thing for that which or an autograph which would have been cool and then our contest this month is a Chris Hemsworth signed Thor um doesn't really say what it is it just says Titan Hero Series so really tall figures there so you can win a Chris Hemsworth signed one of that with by going to bandbox.com for the instructions so bro what was your pick of the box for this month uh I'd have to say the key necklace and the license plate because I love Grimm and I also like Evil Dead um so this kind of like weird like I like the whole design of the key like the whole like switchblade type thing but it does feel a little cheap I mean it is metal but it feels cheap at the same time um but I just think it's kind of weird but mine probably is, I don't really like a whole lot of items but I'd probably say this um Edward Scissorhand picture it's probably the thing I like the most <clears throat> um just I like the really um like cartoonish design of that that I really like but that's going to be it for the BAM box this month so if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more and we'll see you next time happy halloween